I am Larissa Heifetz from Harvard University, and I presented my research at the 23rd meeting of APS. So I'm broadly interested in social cognitive development, and the research that I'm presenting today looks at children's preferences for those who share their beliefs. We know from other work that children show preferences based on a number of perceptually salient cues, such as race and gender, but it's unclear whether they use information about someone's invisible mental states to form their social preferences. So we did three studies to examine this question. The first study looked predominantly at religion because this is an identity that's important to children and adults around the world, but it's not an identity that psychologists have spent a lot of time examining empirically. So in that study, we found that Christian children showed preferences for a Christian over a Hindu character, both on explicit tasks and on an implicit uh, seated reaction time measure. Our follow-up studies were interested in whether children used information about beliefs in the absence of any other information like religious practices or labels to form their social preferences. We also looked at beliefs other than those uh, concerning religion. We used opinion-based beliefs and factual beliefs to see whether there was something unique about religious cognition. And in those studies, we found that children do prefer those who share their beliefs. They do that approximately equally regardless of what domain uh, we're asking about, but they don't use information about beliefs to infer that the character who's like them does more good behaviors. And so we're doing some follow-up work to see why it is that children express preferences for those who share their beliefs, but don't use that information to infer more positive behaviors among the characters who are more like them. And my favorite part of the APS convention so far has been meeting new people and hearing about their research. Thank you.